We are going way, 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 way overboard with um, wool. So I need to do something about it. Either sell some of the wool. Um, I'm pretty sure that my production can hand well there's more space for production there's no doubt about it um, but I'm pretty sure that it can't handle much more let's clean up the screen a little bit so we don't keep seeing these messages come up uh, I need to I need to start uh, either selling some of the wool or selling it or start carrying it to the production side of things I've got two trucks almost full here uh, oh, I'm driving and hitting everything today okay, let's clean up the screen again uh, I've uh, in the last episode I've added these uh, two new sales points purely because I was having issues I couldn't sell anything for whatever reason, my sell points um, just would not sell anything. So I thought, you know, I kept trying to, I couldn't sell the the cheese, I couldn't sell anything. So I added this thinking, you know, just in case I'm going to have issues, I might as well have it ready to, to do whatever it needs. So we're going to use this combine right here. Now let's have a look, which of my fields is ready to harvest? I'm pretty sure that I've got a few that by now would be ready. Oh, all of them. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, we have sunflower and corn. What? They're ready to harvest as well. Wow, we got corn galore. Okay, it's, believe it or not, it's not what I wanted. But that's okay, we've got two combines. So we'll take this combine to our uh, field over here. And I'm going the longest way possible because I need to go over there. Uh, We'll take it over there and uh, I'll, uh, I really, really didn't, actually, you know what, I'll set this one up on course play and uh, we'll worry about something else later. Uh, we'll set up the other combine to deal with corn and all that sort of stuff later and I'll, uh... wow, this is going to be interesting. It's struggling to deal with itself. Okay. Okay, let's get you out of there. Let's get you in the field. So. Actually, before we do that, okay, stop harvesting while it's rainy. Yes, bro. Okay, I don't care about that. Uh, show course, I don't care about that. Hey, was it here? I have stop. Player. Prefer. Boom, boom, boom. No, I don't care about that. So it must be here. Uh, allow reverse for No, I don't care. Combine. Stop while unloading. Activated. Uh, Comp self activated. And now we'll go to create a job. Okay. I was gonna say, is it gonna go? It's gonna leave swath. No, 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 no. Let's get rid of the swath thing. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Definitely don't want to be leaving a swath. Okay, we've not really done anything here. No? Okay. Uh, I think it was a mistake putting all these things in here. I 
do I have any other trailers? Oh yes I do, oh yes I do, so that can stay there for now. Oh okay, <clears throat> we left you here. Okay, let's not tap through the vehicles, where are my trucks? Where's my trailers? Okay, well that's strange. I know one of my truck is right here. But as for where the trailers are, <clears throat> we'll never clue. Okay, well I've got a trailer over there. But that is a uh, tractor trailer. There's my other truck down there. Okay, so you can stay here. I think I've got, a, I can see a trailer over there. I know I've got the milk trailer on the other side. Well, where's all my trucks? Oh, one of my trailers full of grain. Okay, so do you have anything inside? Yes, it does. How much do I have in there? Oh, I got plenty. Please take it all. Please take it all. Please take it all. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, now we'll take this truck. And um, I will drive through my grass field. Got grass galore anyway. <clears throat> I'll take this truck and place it somewhere for the combine to be able to self unload. I'm going to have to try and find sort of like a fairly uh, uh, straight type place for it to unload. And uh, hopefully the combine will not have problems with it. I think right there would probably be as good a place as any. right here so we'll is that kind of right okay okay i know you're here but i don't want you I don't need you you can stay there you can definitely stay there and we'll deal with this guy we'll put him on the other side and look at that 18 minutes already been recording and I barely got to do all the setup. So obviously I'm gonna to have to do some heavy editing here. Okay, I think this will be plentiful, come on. So I've got a truck here and a truck there. Yeah. Realistically, I probably should have put this one a bit higher. Oh, look, it's turning around, it's coming back here. Please don't smash into me. Last time I set up the combine to do this, he kept smashing up into it. It's going to do the same thing. Uh, whoa. I, it couldn't think for itself to do that in the first place. And it's going to run into me again, isn't it? See, the difference is that I haven't got a clue where I need to be now for this. Okay. All right, well, hopefully this will mean that it will remember and every time he gets here, it will unload. Okay, let's try and use the green one. Now you can see why I've been sort of putting off me fertilizing and all that sort of stuff. Uh, Oops, what's going on? Okay. Oh. Don't smash into things. I love the way he does that. He just, you know, boom, 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 done. 
So this is the combine that I wanted to use uh, for my harvesting as far as uh, corn and all that is concerned. And this is going to take a little while so I don't think this is the biggest header that you can get. So we're going to have a bit of fun doing this and especially since how quickly is it? Okay, so it's already 10%. Wow. We're missing some. So you can tell here that I wanted to maximize my uh, fields because I used every bit of. We're almost in the water. Now in real life, obviously you wouldn't do, you wouldn't get that close, but yeah. Okay, we'll get a bit of a time lapse guy. Now I'm not going to set this guy up on uh, on uh, course play. Uh, we're gonna do some of it and as we get closer to full I'm gonna have to find a truck and bring him here so uh, yes yeah, so I can obviously empty the harvester yeah and when I you know while I'm doing that I'm gonna put him on work to do so that's why I bought another trailer because I'm gonna have to sort of spread my equipment now that I'm all over the map not having to have so much setup done all over the place so once I finish with this obviously I'm going to look into uh, getting a different type of combine um, and a bigger header I think I'm not quite sure how much bigger you can get in corn, but I'm pretty sure you can get bigger than this. So I suppose that's all that matters. Now I realize that um, when you're harvesting corn, you're generally going, well not generally, you are supposed to go with the rows, not the way I'm going. Uh, I am sometimes with the rows, like right now, but then obviously once you get in, you change sort of uh, direction, you're no longer with the rows. But I need to do this. So then the worker, uh, if when I when I do have to put it on the worker, the worker can uh, do its job without get. I've cut that tree. I'm pretty sure a few times, and it just seems to be keep coming back. Yeah. So the worker can do his work. Now, obviously, uh, we're going to have even the next episode. We'll still be harvesting. I still got uh, one more field of sunflower. Uh, now, 
I almost considered of just getting another combine, but um, I'm not going to do that. I think we're going to stick to just two combines. And uh, this is going to be a, well, one combine. Whoa, this is... I didn't realize that the terrain was so... Uh, yeah, so all over the place here. Yeah. So this is going to be my combine for anything to do with corn and uh, sunflower. And then on top of that, the other combine is going to be anything to do with, uh, you know, your beans and wheat and so on and so on. Uh, because I already have way too much equipment as it is. I don't want to keep adding to the equipment. I'm going to obviously, I've been saying that for how many episodes now that I'm going to call down my uh, equipment a little bit. Um, and we're going to, I'm going to have to do that whether I like it or not. Uh, because otherwise, it's just going to be impossible for me to do anything. Uh, it's going to get to a point where I've got so many tractors that uh, I don't know what to do with. Now, uh, I'm sure that if a farmer... Actually, no, I don't think even if a farmer in real life would have millions and millions and millions of dollars in the bank, I still don't think that he would just go out and buy tractor after tractor after tractor. I do see some of the farmers that buy tractors... You know, these tractors don't this, these tractors don't that, you know, this is for carting, this is for plowing, and so on. So, uh, it's not too far-fetched that they would um, allocate tractors to do a particular job. Uh, but, yeah, I think it's, um, it's better that I stick to, <laughs> uh, you know, the tractors that I have and getting rid of some of the tractors that I have. I do have to go and... Um, also uh, uh, do the soil test on my fields uh, that are the new fields because I've completely ignored that um, so we're going to do that as well anyway, have a wonderful day wherever you are around the world, God bless you and your family I'll see you in our next episode bye bye